What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John from the Game Video here. Welcome to you to another episode of Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair. And in this episode of Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair, we're entering Chapter 3. I think we got our first round of Dots and Dots because we're guys just... We're just all shocked over the fact that... Oh, yeah, we did. Okay, there we go. First round of Dots and Dots, Dots and Dots, Dots and Dots, Dots and Dots. No one's here, right? Wait, why are we here? Er, what? <laughs> Whoa, 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 what are we doing? Why are we doing this? Man, I can totally see it now, those idiots. I can't wait to see the surprise look on their dumb faces. <laughs> oh no. They'll probably, but they'll probably be happy about it. They'll probably be very, very happy. Alrighty. <laughs> oh, frick, what did you do? What did you do? What did you do, Hiyoko? Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. I didn't go collect my Monica Nova tokens. Whoops, I forgot about that. Trip executive committee has an announcement to make. Good morning, everyone. Now then, let's show. I'm so glad I get to like Monica's text just becomes the same thing, so I just get to skip it. Morning, huh? In the end, I was worried about Fuyuhiko that I so worried about Fuyuhiko that I couldn't sleep. Involving himself in Peko's execution like that, suffering all of those wounds. Is he really going to live? And was he really okay? Or was it really okay to leave him in Monokuma's care? Honestly, that was something I thought about too. Because it's like, why are we leaving him with Monokuma of all people right now? Like, Mikon needs to be there at least. Worry has consumed my heart. And my body feels terribly burdened. But that worry ends here. There's no way I can just lay here and do nothing. Loosening my stiff body, I slowly sat up in bed. I guess I should have a head over to the restaurant. That's right. Just do it. I should meet up with everybody at the restaurant first, and then we'll question Monokuma after. I'm definitely gonna find out what happened to Fuyuhiko. Is he safe or not? I honestly am, uh, like, okay, Fuyuhiko literally went up in, as a character in my mind. I feel like I got a lot more out of his personality, so I'm very proud. I mean, same with Sonia, so let's talk to her actually real quick too. Good morning, Sonia. Huh? Huh? Hi, man. Get back! Who do you think I am? Oh, what are you doing? I am sorry. Uh, that was not intentional. Is it okay? Please be your usual self. Yeah, that was close. I was really gonna kneel before her. No, why? Um, I am terribly sorry. I was worried about Fuyuhiko that I couldn't sleep at all. That must be why my face looks terrible, and I was so embarrassed to be seen like this. I, am I shall go wash my face and come back one more time. Now then, ta-da! She looked like she normally does. <laughs> I feel that. Okay, I feel that a lot. Just as I thought, Tony and I were worrying about the same thing. Is Fuyuhiko really okay? Yeah, I think that's like gonna be like the common theme right now. Everybody's gonna be worried about what's going on with Fuyuhiko. Okay, cool. Nothing, nothing, no problems. And that's a very understandable worry. I mean, he nearly got himself killed, and then Monokuma was like, oh, I gotta spare him, I guess. Can't let him die, because it's against the rules. And you're just like, what the heck, Monokuma? Uh, okay. Oh. Hi, May! You're already here! Kyoko, you're the only one here. What, who are you acting so anxious about? I'm not acting anxious. I I just happen to be awake by coincidence, so I came here early. I, I see. This girl. There's something strange. Is she trying to pull one, some kind of dirty trick again? Probably. I don't trust her. Like, I, I don't. That's just the stairs. I guess we gotta talk to her again? I just happened to be awake by coincidence, so I came here early. It's just a coincidence. Oh, look at that. What the heck is this? A panel has been propped up, giving us a giving off a dreadful, unsettling vibe. There's a bunch of photos pasted all over it. Didn't Mahiru take these photos? Well, what was the terrifying ambiance? Wow, what's this? What an adorable direct for decoration. I don't know who did it, but they must have spent so much time and effort doing their best to make it. You cannot, like, okay, honestly, we got some back, back notes of this, so we kind of knew she was working on it. But as soon as she said this, I would have been like, girl, I know you made it, shut up. <laughs> My hero's gonna be happy too. I don't know who did this, but they should be, you should be grateful for them, right? Hey, Hiyuko, did you? Thank you! At least Hayame knows exactly where I'm at. Hello. Ah, oh, good morning. 
It is rare to run and take you two here. Hmm, what are you looking at? Huh? What are these? Th these horrifying photos. I expected that reaction. Yo, what happened? Yeah. What's up, what's up? Is it a brawl? Huh? Yo, what is all this ruckus in the morning? <laughs> this, this is bad. But please, take a look at these, those photos. Huh? huh? Photos? Whoa. Whoa, what the heck? I know. Hey, 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 hey. What kind of hey. ominous crap is this? It is like something you use for a sorcery. This is clearly an insult against Mahiru. Damn it. I don't know what the who, who the hell did this crap, but they're gonna got a lot of nerve. Uh, this this is too much to actually treat Mahiru's photos like this. Ah, uh, everyone, I understand how you guys feel, but it's probably okay. good morning, everyone. Good, good Magro. What is with those nasty photos? They're giving up crazy, huge, ominous aura. There is no excuse. There is no... There is this too terrible. How can someone be capable of such a heartless trick? No, seriously, it's just... Hey! I know, right? Seriously, it's the worst. Jeez, I wonder who the hell did it. Huh? Girl! Girl, you out here lying again. You can... You cannot be out here lying like this. I was gonna literally be like... God, I was gonna defend you. Like, I understand where you're going with this. It's not like a. It was not like intended to be bad. And I was gonna be like, yeah, no, this is what happened. This is what she did. I can see where you guys take this. But it's like a shrine from Hiru. It's not like a bad thing. And now you're going here and lie. So, frick it. Out of spite, I won't defend you. Hmm. You're right. There's no way Mahiru would be happy with this. She won't be unhappy. I'm sure she'll just be angry and cry tears of blood. Man, who the hell did this? No. No way. We'll have to search for the criminal later, but in the meantime, first, or fire, start the fire. We'll have a grand bonfire so my hero can reach Nirvana. Seriously, is this is. Hold it. You can't. Someone took the time to make this memorial, so we can't mourn. So we can mourn for my hero. You can't burn it. Huh? Mourn, Mahiru? What the heck? You sure it's not the other way around? I'm pretty sure whoever made this is totally disrespecting Mahiru. You think so? Really? I think it's just a little clumsy, that's all. Me? Why don't you why don't you take a closer look at the intent instead of focusing on the appearances? This is why you moved up to number one. Honestly, you have a better heart than I. Because well, okay, to be fair. Kyoko did not lie straight to Chiagi's face. Like, lying is the first thing that's going to make me go, F you. Like, if I catch you lying, I'm just immediately going to do that. So, I kind of have a weird spite for that. Um, but, yeah, I, if I came if I like came up into this, it'd be like, look at, look at what's going on. Like, it's not what you think it is. Perhaps. Despite their clumsiness... I'm sure whoever made this probably did their very best. And if you look at it carefully, don't you feel like you could sense their feelings? Just gonna double check that I didn't make anything. There we go. I, she, I, I didn't miss a line. My hero's not alone. She'll be with us now and forever. Oh wait, this way, uh, if you look at it carefully, don't you feel like you can sense their feelings? My hero's not alone. She'll be with us now and forever. This probably was made with those feelings. Right? So, I definitely think, yep, it's a nice decoration. I see. After hearing you say that, I'm starting to feel like a, a bit of the same thing. You. You sure are simple-minded. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't really want to burn it. Huh? huh? It cannot be. Um, was the person who made this? <laughs> Mahiru was really nice. She politely taught me how to tie my kimono. She was oh, really good at taking care of others. <laughs> Mahira's probably lonely by herself, so I wanted to tell her that she's not alone, even if she's in heaven. <laughs> uh, Hiyoko, you. <laughs> I did want to make it look better, but but unless I'm dancing, I'm so clumsy at whatever I do. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am sorry. I am terribly sorry. I spoke out of turn without considering your feelings at all. <laughs> Sorry, Hiyoko. I'm, I'm sorry. Well... How 
should I put this? It looks like we misunderstood. <laughs> now that we take a closer look, it does look like you put a lot of thought into those decorations. Just trying to cover your tracks, I understand. For now. So let's keep th this thing around until we get off the island. No. No, it should come with us even when we get off of this island, too. It would be a waste to leave it behind in such a wonderful photo. <laughs> So we're not gonna burn it? Impossible. Of course not! We would never burn it! You. Weren't you the ones who started shouting that? I got it! Fine, I, then I forgive you all except for me, Con, of course. Why? Why? What is the point in not. Oh why are you so strict with me? I, I think. See. That... Man, I see. it's so unexpected. Yeah. I really can't imagine Hyoko being so diligent and earnest about something. Huh. Who cares about that? <laughs> Yoko has a very kind heart. That's not it. Kind? Oh, come on. It's not like that at all. Jeez. Jesus. Stop it already. <laughs> you don't have to be embarrassed. Stop it. Seriously, stop it. Don't tease me. <laughs> wow. Yoko is so adorable when she's embarrassed. Shut up. Shut the fuck up, you pig-faced troll. Why only me? <sighs> at any rate, I hope you they finally settle this. <laughs> it's very like... You guys to settle things like this? Mm -hmm. Really? It feels like we made such a huge fuss about it and finally started settling things. That's just like you guys. Well? Little by little, we're trying to understand and find the good in each other. That's the reason we can move forward without feeling the despair towards our situation. Yep. Yeah, you guys are all splendid. Splendid, huh? This body is mm. uncooperative. I have finally arrived. Apologies for the wait. What? What the? What is this object that's releasing such a foul aura? Impossible! Mm hmm? A malice clings to Mihiru even after her death? We've been sucked in and we look if we look uh, We'll be sucked in if we look directly at it. You're the worst. Wow. This is a very hopeless object. It doesn't belong in a hopeful place like this at all. It's absolutely brimming with malice. <laughs> Let's just hurry up and destroy it. I can't stand to look at it even for one more second. Stand you. aside. I'll shatter this barbaric, blasphemous false idol to pieces. <laughs> now that those two are here, do you still think we're splendid? Hmm. hmm. Looks like it's gonna take a little bit more time. I completely agree. The scene unfolding in front of me was so embarrassing, all I could do was sigh. But at least there was pe it was a peaceful scene. However, we didn't realize just how short-lived the peace would be. Even though we were finally bonding, the situation was brewing like a huge fracture running between us all. And that would be the trigger for a truly horrible and atrocious incident. Not just for me, but for every single one of us. We just hadn't realized it yet. Chapter three. Trapped by the ocean scent. Daily life. Oh, we're gonna have a cinema. You know what I'm gonna watch on that TV? Definitely. Foo, I'm stuffed. I can't eat another damn bite. Hey. Man, you sure do eat a lot. Do you, don't you ever worry about like choking? Yeah. I never get worried. <laughs> you don't? Wait, what about Foo Hiko? Is he really all right? I was so, so concerned that I couldn't sleep at all last night. Huh? Plus, if his fate is in Monokuma's paws, I am even more concerned. <laughs> uh, if only I could attend to his wounds somehow. I wish I wasn't so useless. Well, don't you think, I don't think we should worry about it. You. Do you just forget everything that happens to us when you eat? All right. Now that I've got a belly full of food, I'm all set. So... Leave the rest of me. I'll question Monokuma and avenge Fuyuhiko. That's avenge? Wrong. He's not even dead. Sheesh. What vengeance? You just want to test your skill. <laughs> well, yeah. Huh? She flat out admitted it. Hello. Okay, everyone. Can I have your attention, please? Meaningless. Oh, it's you, Monome. What do you want? Jeez. Man, the fun mood is over now thanks to you. Yeah. Huh? Did I ruin the mood? <laughs> Jeez, don't treat me so harshly. I did my very best today, too. <laughs> hey, who the hell are you and what are you talking about? Something important. So go away. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Stop it! Wait, no, I definitely don't want to be treated.
treated like an outsider. Just what do you want? What do you mean by I did my very best today? Um, oh, you finally asked hey. me. Well, once again, I have defeated another model beast. So how do you like me now? I worked hard, didn't I? Hey. If you've defeated another mono beast, that means... Ding, ding, ding. That's right, you'll be able to visit yet another island. <laughs> so let us all live happily ever after with each other this time, okay? No more getting tricked by Monokuma. No more thinking about leaving this island. Bye. Let's all live together peacefully, just as best friends. A new island, huh? Maybe now we'll find it. A way to get off this island and go home. No, that's the only thing we have. That's our one and only hope. Huh? Are you guys thinking about leaving this island, even though I just said not to? Have a More importantly, Monomi, what happened to Fuyuhiko? Hmm? Huh? Fuyuhiko? Um... um, you see, I... Don't really know. Miss Sonia, can't you see it's a waste of time asking her in the end if she's just Monokuma's ally? See, you are also the part of the mysterious World Ender organization, aren't you? Hey! That organization has brought us to this island, right? Since you're the ones who brought us here to this island, that's gotta be it. Hey, hey I don't know if you're a rabbit or a pig, but just what are you planning? This is a great opportunity to tie. It's time you finally fill this in. Ah, uh, what a dilemma. But... That's all the one thing I cannot say. Bye -bye. Truly, this is a tragedy in the middle management. Hold on she ran away again. She's always like that when things get inconvenient for her. Well, oh well. Who cares about Monomi? More importantly, <laughs> she mentioned a new island. What should we do? However, I do not think we should go exploring when Fuyuhiko is in danger. Hey. But we must move forward. No matter what despair stands in our way, that's what hope should be. What hope? You always say that just before you lead us into a trap. There's something wrong. Jeez, you, you seriously are just as annoying as Monokuma. Hey, hey. I'm also worried about Fuyuhiko, but is it really okay that we just stay here and do nothing? Isn't it better to if we do what we can? What well, we can, huh? She's right. Let's find a way off this island before he comes back. Mm. You are right. You are right. Fuyuhiko will not recover any faster if we just stand and do nothing. <laughs> Agree with Miss Sonia! You literally just disagreed with it, but that's fine, you know, you can send for Sonia. All right. Then it's decided. Let's explore and search for a new hope. Wait. Uh, wouldn't it be faster if we just beat up the rest of the mono beasts and search all the islands and go in one go? Me. If it was a strange looking rabbit can could be one, it could be an easy for us too. Hey, don't you think you're gonna be doing something a bit reckless? <laughs> Anyway, let's begin. Let's open the way to the hope-filled future with our very own hands. Ah! Uh, after all that, I feel like we're doing exactly what Nagito wants us to do. Exactly! Like, here's the thing. Nagito want is, like, kind of taking the reins. And but the problem is, is he's taking the reins with no consequences. Whereas, like, when Byakuya took the reins in the first game... Spoilers, by the way. So if you haven't played the first game, don't skip like 30 seconds. Or maybe a minute. Uh, but like when Byakuya took the reins, there was actual punishment. Like the team didn't necessarily trust Byakuya very much. And it was a lot like a god. And it was the only reason that he was even in a good spot was because of Genocide Jill. But, I mean, that's what happens when you get like your cast gets smaller and smaller, right? If you make the connections, it's helpful. But Nagito has no one on his side and is still not getting punished. Like, how? That becomes the question. How do you have no one on your side but still get no punishment? Because, like, again, yeah. So, anyway, that's that's my query. Because I feel like you have to have at least someone on your side. And to me, right now, the only person that's on Nagito's side could be Monokuma. Flat out. Like, Monokuma could be the only reason that Nagito is alive. Let's just think about that one for a minute. In order to prepare for the exploring the new island, we left the restaurant. Going to Jabawaki Park! Also, I do want to walk because I learned a couple things. So, one thing I learned uh, in the last trial is that 
my level is how much I can use for skills. Which is massive information to know. Um, so thank you. And then secondly... Uh, for my pet. Because I'm almost to the next round of pet. And so I want to make sure I can do that. And especially because we're at the third island, we're kind of getting the most walking. Because in Central Island, I get the most... Um, it takes the most time to get to Island 3. So... But what is on Island 3? Obviously, we had a cinema in the background, so that makes me inclined to believe that, that we have a cinema again, which I'm fine with. Oh, hi, Nakamaru. I have to stop every time I see you. Hey, you're not going to the new island, Nakamaru. Oh. I'm worried Akane is going to do something reckless about those mono beasts. I'm not going to guard the bridges... Or I'm going to... I'm going to guard the bridges for a while. I'll leave you guys to explore the new island. Honestly, fair. Got it. Nakamaru... Nekamaru is quite good at taking care of people. I wonder if that's just being habit of team manager. Yeah, but he's gonna take care of me. Y'all know that. He's gonna take care of me, and it's gonna be great when that happens. Third Island. Monami was right. The Monobeast that was blocking this bridge is gone. Then if we can cross this bridge, we should reach the new island. With that feeling of hope in my heart that overshadowed any lingering fear or nervousness I felt. I crossed the bridge that led to the new island. And this is the third island. The ambiance is completely different compared to the previous islands. Agreed. This is like more urban area. The residents and ruins are all in shambles. It barely feels like a resort. And not just that, there's definitely no sign of people here either. Feels a little dangerous somehow. It might be better to proceed cautiously. The cinema. <laughs> of course I open it with six, six, six steps remaining. <laughs> Why would I not open it with six, six, six steps remaining? Oh my god. Okay. That. <laughs> uh, who else is here? We're currently showing right now, so please wait five minutes for the next showing to start. Showing? What does that mean? What are you Are saying? your eyes just for show? Look around, this is a movie theater, right? I am obviously showing a movie. Showing a movie? Well, I guess there's no need to even ask. You're just going to say, or what? You're just gonna see this is the next motive, motive right? Just like the Twilight and Martin Syndrome case? I'm definitely not going to want to watch your movie, whatever it is. I'm never going to see it. Yeah. My goodness, and I was thinking about giving you an invitation ticket. Yeah. But I won't allow you to not watch it. I went to, uh, into a lot of trouble to make this movie. If you don't watch it, I'm going to be sad. I'm sure your movie is no different than that game you made. No, no. That game was a shoddy piece of crap, but this movie definitely is a masterpiece. Anyways, as long as I refuse to allow it, you will never have a choice not to watch it. I am Monica. On this island, my word is law. If I don't watch it, then what are you going to do about it? The there is no way I'd allow such reckless behavior. There is no way I'd allow it, but... What are you going to do? I'll forgive, your per I'll, I'll forgive you if you purchase a Monokuma sticker at the goods counter over there. Monokuma sticker? Uh, can I watch the movie? <laughs> Sorry. What, what? what are you going to do? Hey, didn't you think we didn't want to watch my what movie? You, you really do? do want to watch it, right? You should have just been honest and let me hand you the invitation tenant. Yeah, give me the ticket. I want to watch the movie. What are you gonna do? Ugh. Let me grab this. I saw it in the corner of my eye. I knew you could do it. And then there's another one I have to purchase? Or does this count as my purchased one? Like proof of purchase. Mm. What are you... Ah! I do have to buy it. No! Toad made with hemp cloth. No. 
Oh. Uh, did you get your eye? It's an all-purpose tote bag useful for a variety of common tasks. It's a limited item and only one person can have it. By the way, apparently a tote bag looks like an original. It looks, our bags were originally invented to carry around mm -hmm. ice. How about it? You want to buy it? I'll pass. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought you'd say that. I'll be upfront with you. I'll cut. I'll, I cut a lot of corners making that thing. That's too upfront. Is this sticker the one you're talking about? I'm sorry, I was born stupid. Damn! Can I hand that to Hero? It's not funny, and I don't understand its purpose and how half-assed it is. Actually, to tell you the truth, it's a very unlucky sticker I received from a wandering, miracle-working priest. What? And it could be yours for the special price of only $1.5 million! $1.5 million? Don't mess with me, I don't even have that kind of money. Then you can pay me back when you get off this island. If you don't like it, you could always just watch my... Fine, I'll pay it. Whoa, I'm surprised. As long as I can pay it after I get out of here, I'll pay you anything, even $1.5 million. You're the first person to ever pay $1.5 million for this sticker. In other words, you really don't want to watch my movie, huh? And that makes me a sad Monokuma. Yeah. But if I go to make a huge profit, it's okay. I'm gonna be the mascot of who has a hobby if, if counting monies after all. You're the worst mascot ever. Here. Come on, take it, thief, and slap it on your forehead. Take advantage of the divine opportunity, thief. The sticker I received was even thinner and more cheap looking than I thought it would be. It's like a prize from a box of candy. Did I really just agree to pay that much money for this piece of crap? Maybe I am a little crazy. Well then, it looks like the showing is over. Alrighty, gotta collect those questionnaires. At that moment, Monica was started humming and skipped away towards the door leading into the theater. Slam. The door opened violently and one person appeared from within. Of course it's Nagito! Hey, hey. Ah, uh, Nagito. Please answer my questionnaire. Jeez. It doesn't matter if I answer it. The motive was so boring, it was torture. Or, oh, that movie was so boring, it was torture. Minutes felt like weeks while I was watching it. Hmm. Uh, yeah. yes. uh, I guess that's what art is, because it's not really art unless it surpasses common sense. I thought it was going to be another motive, but uh, I guess that's not the case. What a letdown. If money would have settled this, I should have just settled it with money. Nagito was so depressed, the movie must have been really, really bad. I definitely made the right call by not watching it. God, I've stopped to Nagito now. <sighs> I'm so tired from boredom. If money would have gotten out of me seeing it, I should have settled it with money. Let me ask you something. If you were told you could pay $1.5 million to not watch that movie, That's I'd obvious. gladly pay it. Quick answer, that movie must have been that bad, huh? Was that it? There's no... <sighs> Electric Avenue. Hmm. Personal computer. There's a bunch of streets, booths filled with electric appliances at the back narrow alleyway. The machines and other parts cluttered together on the display, and it definitely seems fishy, but wait. With this many machines, we could probably find something that we can use for two-way communication, right? Looks like it would be best if I search around here. Various desktops and laptop computers are arranged in a disorderly manner, like a pile of oversized trash. Though they're looking a little old-fashioned and run down, they all look like they can still be used. I know if we can connect to the internet, we might be able to call for help with these. As soon as I thought that, I grabbed a random laptop and pulled it out of the pile and turned it on. I tried to see if it would connect to the internet. It's no use. It looks like it's not connecting. Well, there's no way it'd be that easy. Just when I was about to give up, my eyes noticed something strange icons arranged on the desktop. Usami X file? What is this? Without thinking, I clicked strange on the strangely named icon. It's a document file. Based on the format, it looks like some kind of report. I scanned across the words displayed on the screen. About the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. This horrendous, this horrendous event originated with some students at Hopi Academy causing revolt. 
The students of the reverse department or reserve department were dissatisfied with being treated differently than the primary department and became began to fight the academy. At first, the departure was confined to the campus and hopes were high that it would settle down someday. But things quickly escalated. Behind the scenes of that rebellion, a huge authority was exerting its influence and eventually spread like an infection, provoking riots in various parts of the world. It was unlike any previous act of terrorism or coup, or coup d'etat. It seemed like it was to have such a much different purpose. However, no matter what we assume, we can simply not apply reason to the sur uh, subversive moment. Nonetheless, the destruction of the is this case is not chaotic or disorganized it's both purposeful and malicious therefore it is a subversive su subversive mo uh, movement full full of despair hope speak academy became the origin of this incident and was forced to put an end to their long history as for the students oh my gosh uh for, as for the students that survived they were forced to kill each other as a lesson in despair X what is this hmm, how normal it's not normal to like it's not normal like a dog barking it's such a normal reaction that it's actually quite novel hey can't you react with more gusto? Don't you know how very important this scene is? Could it be? You were the one who created this file. What's this? My, my, what makes you think that? Because it's obviously the only thing that I can think of. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history, riots in various parts of the world, and Hope Peak Academy getting destroyed? Sounds like something stupid that you'd make up. And, and, what's with this Hope Peak Academy reserve department? I've never heard of anything like that before. Oh, wow. Huh? Really? That's weird. Of all people, you should definitely be the one who knows about it. What do you mean? Uh, I guess you forgot about that along with your memories of your school life. So it can't be helped. While, you were on the, while we're on the subject of stupid things, that file said something about students who survived? Is that referring to us? Then the rest of that file is. Hold on a second, you guys! Hey, Just what the heck are you guys talking about? It doesn't make any sense! Hmm. Movies with no images. Music with no sound. Novels with no words. These are things that truly don't make any sense. You, you can't say something this simple doesn't make any sense. Who cares about that? Just who cares about that? Answer me! Who are the students who survived? Well, I wouldn't know any an important story like that because the only thing I'm good for is being cute. Damn it, he ran away again. Uh, hey, hi, MA. Don't worry, it's going to be fine. I'm sure he has he's making all that up. That's it, that's definitely it. And I don't trust that. Hi, Kazuichi. Huh? Are you serious? Uh, are you shitting me? What happened? I thought you'd be happier about being surrounded by some so much machinery. Of course not. Uh, don't be stupid. I'm the ultimate mechanic, you know. Of course I'm happy when surrounded by machines. Then you should look happier. No. Dude, I'm trying to understand how I'm feeling. <sighs> Have this unexplainable conflicting feeling about whether or not I should be happy. I can't understand that kind of a feeling. But why? Why do you feel so conflicted? Huh? There's all this machinery lined up here. Whoa. Hot damn, I want to take them apart and decimate them when look inside. That's how I usually think, right? Oh, but I... No, now's not the time for me to do something like that. And that's why I feel so conflicted. He's wanting to dismantle normal? Huh? Hell yeah! It's like if you had a lot of hots for a chick and you want to really take off your clothes like a lot, right? And you want to check out her bone structure, right? Like her ribs and where parts of her bone stick out, right? That's not normal at all. That's a pretty aerobatic sex fetish. Damn! You serious? Seriously? Uh... I see. I want to. So wanting a chick that chick's bone structure makes me a little perverted, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, it does a little bit. Not a lot, but a little bit. They're away.
Television corner. There's a lot of CRT TVs lined up here. They look really old. It looks like they're designed for terrestrial digital broadcasting. Not that it matters. It looks like the TV signal isn't reaching here anyway. What is this? There are so many machines. Just by looking at them, I have no clue what they're used for. Uh. I don't really recommend that section. Hmm, what do you mean? <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure amateurs really won't get it. All that stuff there is all machines used for the stuff like wiretapping and recording secret videos. It looks like there's some sort of ancient looking surveillance cameras too. Machines used for recording secret videos? Ah, hey, don't get it twisted. I just have a mechanical knowledge of these things and I've never actually used them before, all right? No, one said you did, or, or, or no one said you did. Hey, speaking of surveillance cameras, we're being constantly videotaped and wiretapped by Monokuma, right? Like, I'm kind of jealous here, but what does he see when he's watching Missonia? He said he's never used these things before. If I let him be, he's the type of person who will eventually use them. That is facts. Oh, hi, Chiaki. The parts corner. There's a lot of electric appliances in this mess, including home appliances and acoustic equipment. All of these old, look old. How do they even still work? Hi, Chiaki. Cell phone corner. So this is the cell phone corner. Looks like they don't get uh, or don't get reception. Even with all the variety, they may as well be paperweights. Somehow, it looks like she's fi fishing things out of the pile of electric appliances. Chiaki, what happened? Are you looking for something? Well, yeah, I'm wondering if they have any game consoles in here. Sometimes old hardware is treated like junk. Ah, that's that's what you're doing. Um, I already have a TV in my cottage, so. It doesn't have to be a non-portable device. I'll settle for anything. So if you find something, let me know. I'll help you carry it back to your cottage. Yep. Yes, I will. But I don't play video games. Or I don't want to play video games for a while. I'd rather not be reminded of the previous incident. Understandable. I kind of get the not wanting to be reminded. That looks like a school. Motel. This is where Nekamaru and I will be, but we'll go in here. Watch, and Nekamaru was not going to be here, but. Oh, Hiyoko's here. It's a small building with a guest ac uh, accommodations and a parking lot. This is supposed to be a hotel, right? I've seen them before in movies, but this is the first time actually being in one in person. <laughs> wow, what a rundown motel. It looks like a pretty unsanitary, too. It's just like Jaime's house. You've never seen my house. Oh, I didn't know you were here. You don't stand out at all, so I didn't notice you. <laughs> Anyways, this place is seriously run down. It's like the perfect home for a minimum wage worker. That's a bit harsh, don't you think? But, but we gotta make sure that we can check it out thoroughly. It's possible that there might be a clue here. If you think so, then why don't you go outside and look around instead of standing here and doing nothing? Hey. You're probably too vulgar to get this, but there's a a saying, praise a fool, and you may make him useful. What is that supposed to mean? So. Akane was checking out the inside after I gave her a little praise. She got really excited about it. A dumbass like her is pretty rare, so we gotta make sure she's treated well. If her rotten attitude is this extreme, I can't really take it personally. It's a bunch of similarly looking private rooms. It's probably the insides probably look the same too. It's dark and slightly dirty, and there's no doubt that a room like this would be perfect for a crime movie. If it's just here to stay the night, or if it's just to stay the night, the cottage is good enough. So I think that we should absolutely, in the next episode, check out the other two things and then head off to the next island. So thank you guys so much for watching. Love you guys so much, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.